In this episode, we want to help you identify the criteria needed for making a selection when looking for a music producer. Welcome to another episode of Producer Files. Hey everybody, my name is JK Jeremy Kuris from Exilic Music and I'm happy to be back with you again as we present you with another episode in our Producer Files series. We've been looking at the overarching goal of the music producer or the record producer and then in our last two episodes we looked at six different types of music producers. What we want to do now is build on that and we want to say when you set out as a recording artist to select a music producer to help you achieve your sonic outcomes, your sonic goals, your finished product. What are, the, what are the criteria that you should be looking at? What are some things that will help you in your decision-making process? And so um, we've identified five, five things that will help you select your music producer. And we want to talk about some of that now and then we'll do a few more in subsequent videos. So there are five factors, five things when selecting a music producer, there's the type factor, and we'll speak some more about that uh, in a moment. The type factor relates to our previous two episodes. So when you wrap your mind around the type of producer that you need, then you're checking that box. But then there's also the genre factor, the relational factor, the experience factor, and what we like to call the X factor, okay? So let's jump in, let's talk about the type factor. What do we mean by the type factor? Well, like I said, it's based on our last two episodes. Go back and have a look at those and get to grips with the various types of music producers out there, particularly the ones that we've identified, the types that we've identified, and get to know them. Get to know what you need and get to know what they can contribute. When thinking about music production uh, and, and when thinking about the different types of music producers and this type factor, you need to be asking yourself questions like this. Do you need someone who can compose with you? Because then maybe you need the composer type of producer. Do you need someone who's more of a technical guru? You probably need the engineering type of producer. Do you need someone who can bring the best team on board to help you reach your goals? Maybe you need the traditional type of of producer or maybe you need someone who can transform your beat makers concepts into a complete song okay hopefully you have a beat maker who's also a record producer and who can take that beat to its uh, best end maybe you need um, someone who who's a DJ and who can work with you as a producer would but on a DJ styled record okay depending on what you need that's the kind of producer that you're going to be selecting but become familiar with the various types of producers that are out there um, and don't be afraid to as you empower yourself to interview some of these producers and ask them hey what do you bring to the table what kind of skill set do you bring to the table the second factor that we believe is important when selecting a music producer is obviously uh, the genre factor. So here we're talking about the form, the style, the kind of category of your composition. Um, that's going to determine the kind of person you work with. Uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to play a huge part in helping you select the right producer. Are you familiar with the kind of work that the producer has done before? If not, then you need to get familiar with their work. Often, as a music producer, I find people come to me and say, hey, uh, I'd like you to produce this or that or that kind of song for me. And I'm going, have you heard my previous work? Mm, well, I might want to say, oh, I'm the most creative person. I can work in all these lanes. The reality is I'm best in my sweet spot. And that's how it is with most producers. Even though some may, may be quite versatile, still you have a sweet spot that's your unique kind of flavor and your skill set and your kind of contribution and that genre in which you find yourself most comfortable is probably where you will do your best work and so don't ask a seasoned classical producer to oversee the sonic direction of your next edm track for example 
and I speak from experience here. I've done some co-production um, with other producers for an artist and the artist was kind of moving the track from one producer to the next to the next. Eventually it ended up with someone who's more skilled as a classical, uh, a classical producer and they added some stuff to the work that had already been done. At the end of the day, you had too many cooks spoiling the broth and the dynamics were lost and the overall sense of direction of the song was lost because whose vision is it now, you know? Um, again, by the same token, don't get a veteran rock producer to help you with your latest hip hop single. I've heard hip hop artists or, or dance groups who require a solid hip hop composition go to a rock musician and ask them to come up with something. It's just disaster. Okay, so know the genre and know the genre, not just that you are working in, um, but that the producer is most comfortable in. So the type factor is critical and the genre factor is critical. Let's touch on one more year and then we'll pause there for today. The, the third factor that we believe is critical is the relational factor. Um, here we, and we might pick up on this again in the next episode. Here we want to say that it's extremely important to know your producer well. Aim to build a good artist-producer relationship and aim to do so outside of the confines of the studio. Try and get to know the person, try and get to know who the person is uh, as a person, not just in terms of their work. Uh, uh, we believe, and we'll talk about uh, we'll talk about this more. We believe that when you really get to know someone, and you spend time getting to know someone, an artist getting to know a producer, it makes for an amazing kind of chemistry. Let's pause there for today. Um, I'm hoping that you're finding these videos helpful. I'm hoping that you're finding um, these tips helpful to understand what the music producer does, but also now helpful in terms of how to go about selecting the best kind of music producer for your work as always if you found this helpful then feel free to share this with others like the video uh, consider subscribing to our youtube channel and reach out to us contact us if you have any production needs this was another episode of producer files <laughs>